welcome to the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to welcome you today in our special musical celebration on the Danube with visits to sparkling and picturesque towns and cities of Hungary, Austria, and Germany. Come along with us as we journey down the Danube River aboard the MS Almacello with music from famous concert halls, abbeys, and cathedrals. The Palace of Arts Cultural Center was opened here in Budapest on the banks of the River Danube in March 2005. With its concert hall, theater, museum, and quality 21st century surrounding, it has few rivals in Europe and offers astoundingly varied programs to lovers of classical music, opera, dance, jazz, world music, pop music, in the fine arts.
It is my pleasure today here at the Palace of the Arts to welcome flautist Irene Moray. As one of the outstanding flautists of Hungary, Miss Moray has won numerous European flute competitions and has performed concerts throughout Europe and the United States. Since 1991, she has held the position of Associate Principal Flautist of the National Philharmonic Orchestra. We welcome her to the Bela Bartok Concert Hall today.
following World War II from 1945 to 1989, Budapest, Hungary was under communist rule. During those days, Christmas was not allowed because as the government said, there was no God. He did not exist. Christmas instead was known as the holiday of love. No Christmas carols were allowed, no nativity scenes, no Christmas celebrations, and no Christmas market. There was one exception, however, the Franciscan Church, which insisted on continuing their Christian and Christmas music and teaching the children and adults about the story of the Christ child.
At the center of Vienna stands the awesome St. Stephen's Cathedral, or Stephen's Dome, as it is called. It is the mother church of the Archdiocese of Vienna. Situated in the Stephen's Platz, the current Romanesque and Gothic form seen today stands on the ruins of two earlier churches dating back to 1147. The cathedral is the most important religious building in Vienna and has borne witness to many important events in Austria's history over the years. In many towns in Austria and Germany, and now other countries, Advent is usually ushered in with the opening of the Christmas market, or Weihnachtsmarkt. In southern Germany and Austria, it is also sometimes called a Christkindlmarkt, meaning Christ Child Market, generally held on the town square and adjacent pedestrian zones the market sells food and drink from open air stalls with other seasonal items and traditional singing and dancing. On opening nights and in some towns more often, onlookers welcome the Christ child or boy Jesus acted out by a local child. The Melk Abbey, or Stift Melk, is an Austrian Benedictine abbey 
and one of the world's most famous monastic sites. It is located above the town of Melk on a rocky outcrop overlooking the River Danube in Lower Austria, adjoining the Wachau Valley. Altoting is a town in Bavaria, for over 500 years the most important pilgrimage site in Germany. This small town is famous for the Chapel of the Miraculous Image, one of the most visited shrines in Germany. It is a tiny octagonal chapel which keeps a venerated statue of the Virgin Mary. According to the legend, in 1489, a three-year-old local boy who had drowned in the river was revived when his grieving mother placed him in front of a wooden statue of the Virgin Mary at the high altar. News of the miracle quickly spread and the chapel was immediately extended by the erection of a nave and a covered walkway.
My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on our musical celebration on the Danube River aboard the MS Amicello Riverboat. We hope you have enjoyed our musical journey, which has taken us to famous and picturesque towns and cities along the majestic Danube. We look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.